What's good, YouTube? I got a fire rare build for y'all, bro. A 2A mid range facilitator. But hit that like button and hit that sub button. And hit them post notice too, bro. This really some heat. We're going to go small forward on this build. You want to go 6'9. Your weight 195, bro. So you actually not going to go minimum. You're going to go 195. The wingspan, you're going to put that at 7'2. And we good right here, bro. So you going to have stupid badges for this build, bro. I'm not even going to hold you. The vertical, you want to put that up to 70. And the stamina, you're going to put that at 99. Max that out. So, first, bro, for real, for real, I don't know where to start. <laughs> bro, yo, we're going to start with the shooting. So, maxing out your three ball, that's going to give you the gold limitless spot up badge. And you see right here, bro, that's worth five points. And we don't have enough shooting badges to really throw that on and everything, bro. You feel me? We're going to put up the mid range. We're going to put that up to 85, actually. We got right here. So 26 shooting badges. And you see putting the mid range up. We got the gold high zone hunter instead of just the silver. And you do want to put that on, bro. Hall of Fame volume shooter. You could use that, too. You do got enough badge points. But I'm going to show you the best lineup. And we're going to get right to the finishing, bro. So 26 shooting badges, bro. With this build, you're going to be able to space the floor and then come down and punch it really whenever you want to, bro. I'm not even going to hold you. The driving dunk, you want to put that at 84. So on this build, bro, <laughs> you feel me? You're going to have the standing dunk and the driving dunk. So... Bruh, y'all know y'all know how overpowered the dunk timing is, bruh. When you use the right stick, dunk timing and everything. As long as you know how to time the meter, bruh, you're going to come down and catch a driving dunk whenever, bruh. Like, it's really going to be hard to stop you. Especially being 6'9 and having the 84 driving dunk. It's, it's really hard to stop bigger, bigger dunkers, bruh. Like... The guards, you could you could stop a guard's driving dunk a little easier than you could stop a big man, bro. Six nine, six eight, and it's pretty much because you bigger, you weigh more, and bro, you you already holding the ball up higher. So whoever trying to get a block, they gotta get up higher initially to even reach that. You feel me? But you just gonna punch it so fast, bro. <laughs> Yo, I'm not even gonna lie, Duncan. This game, it kind of, it, it kind of favor bigger players, bro. Like, like kind of, just like last year fa favored the uh, six, seven power fours and everything. I'm not even gonna lie, bro. It's, it's like the six, seven power fours and like, it's kind of closer to. Yeah, I'm trying to figure how I could explain it, bro. Yo, honestly. I would say 6-9 builds play like 6-8 and 6-9 builds play like the 6-7s of last year and everything. Like 6-7s still play like that too. But honestly, bro, it, cause it's, it's not that they nerfed the uh, last year's power fours and everything, bro. They just let everybody be able to do it. <laughs> for real, for real. Like, honestly, bro, that's, that's really what I think. And... Not like they let everybody be able to do the same thing, but you know how builds six six to six nine they specialize at certain things. Uh, builds under six feet specialize at shooting, playmaking, and just not finishing really in anything. But you could finish too, yeah. But it, it's it, it's really like, bro, <laughs> you do you do want to throw on the finishing badges. And you want to get your driving dunk up high enough, you feel me, to get them contact dunks. Make sure your vertical is at 70, though, bro. Not even going to hold you. But we're going to move on to the defense. So you want to put your perimeter, not your interior right here, at 76. Your perimeter, you're going to put that at 79. 
And yo, this is really a fire lockdown build, bruh. <laughs> like, I'm not even gonna hold you. I haven't seen too many of these on next gen, bruh. It might be a little different on current gen, but I'm not even gonna hold you. I gotta get on current gen. But we gonna go 88 on the block. And your defensive rebound, you wanna put that at 81. So you're getting a silver rebound chaser badge. And you really got a well-rounded spread, bro. You really got every badge that you need for defense. Literally every badge, though, for real, for real. <laughs> but we're going to go right up to the playmaking. And with 25 badges, so far, hold on. Look at the spread, though, bro. You got 26, 26, and 25, bro. <laughs> Yo, this is really too crazy, bro. That is going to hold you great amount of badges and i'm gonna I'm show you everything to throw all these badges on for real for real but the best finishing finishing uh setup bruh definitely got y'all with that the playmaking you want to put up your speed with ball and you're gonna get you're gonna get 20 plus right here too bro. it's really some pressure your ball handle you're gonna put that at 71 and your pass act, you're gonna go crazy with that, bruh. Put that all the way up to 85. And, bruh, yo, this is a fire build right here, bruh. You got 25 plus in three areas. Then you only got a, a couple less than 25 in the, in the fourth area, bruh. It's really crazy. But we really got enough badges, enough badge points to use these badges, bruh. You feel me? Like, that's really what's so fire about the build. And you got literally every stat except for the post control. But you really don't need post control. I would say if you a bigger big though, if you like a 7-3, you probably would need post control a little bit more. But on this build, yo, this really <laughs> yo, this is like a like a slasher, bro. But you feel me? You got crazy shooting too, so. You feel me? It's, it's like a slashing big and everything, but yo, this is like a 6 9 offensive threat. <laughs> I'm not even gonna hold you. We gonna uh, get right to the takeovers. We gonna go with the, uh, yo, the takes is fire though. I probably would go with the interior fast drop. And you get the lock take too, bruh. I would go with a perimeter badge job, bruh. So, <laughs> you feel me? Wherever, wherever you chase them to, bruh, you dropping their badges. And that's really some pressure, bruh. Fire lockdown build. We're going to get right to the badges. So, for finishing, we're going to put on a slithery mouse in the house. Fast twitch. Put back boss. Rise up, posterizer, limitless. And I probably would go. Well, you don't gotta go unstrippable. And throw in your lob city, you good right there, bro. Perfect setup. Onto your shooting. Corner specialist, blinders. Again, you see, bro, you could throw everything you want to throw on perfect bro yo and you got enough badge points to put on the gold in the spot up bro that's crazy we're gonna put on the post playmaker i probably would go bronze unpluckable at least bro you do want to use that badge because the way the steal rating is, bruh, a lot of people getting plucked, <laughs> you feel me? Even after the patches and everything, oh, you're throwing a bullet passer, a space creator, a dimer for sure, yeah. And you go right here, onto your defense, intimidator, rebound chaser, hustler, Chase down, box, 
interceptor. You can go bronze on that. And, bruh, perfect setup. We good right here. But, yo, that's really some heat, bruh. Great amount of badges, bruh. What you really got? Like, 99 badges, bruh? <laughs> Like, bro, yo, that's really some pressure, bro. I'm not even gonna hold you. But I'm gonna holler at y'all in the next one. Don't forget to hit that like button and hit that sub button. Be easy.